Hey guys, it's Professor Pro, and this is my first update video. I mean, I've obviously given you guys updates before, but this is the first video I'm making that's purely dedicated to this channel. It's really exciting that I've gotten to a point where I think something like this is necessary, and obviously I have you guys to thank for that. This is going to be way more laid back than most of my videos since I want to feel more natural when I'm talking to you guys specifically and not a wider audience. There are a few things I want to discuss, so I guess we should get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is really the only negative thing in this video. Well, it might not even be negative based on how you see it, but you know, it's a big change. Anyways, enough dilly-dallying. Professor Pro is a name that I've been using for quite a while. Back when I was a kid, I used the name Mario Luigi Pro for almost all my Nintendo profiles, then later changed it to the Professor name that you guys know today. Basically, I've had the name in mind for many years now, long before I started making YouTube videos. So you can imagine my surprise when I found out there was a pro Smash player who also goes by Professor Pro. I discovered this about a year ago, but didn't think anything of it. I was sitting at about 200 subscribers or so, and thought it really wasn't a big deal if a tiny YouTuber like myself had the same name as a popular Snake player back in the Brawl days. Well, as you all know, my channel has grown a lot since then, and so have my ambitions for what I want this channel to be. And of course, with that growth comes more attention from outsiders. In the past year, I've had people mistake me for the other Professor Pro, tell other people I'm a famous Smash player, or have even flat out accused me of stealing his identity, like I'm trying to ride on his success. Now, it would be different if this was, I don't know, a Mortal Kombat player or something, but he's not. Professor Pro being a Smash Bros professional puts us both in the same community, the Nintendo community, and because of that, there'll never be a time where I'm not mistaken for him or accused of stealing his identity. So, after much consideration, I've come to the decision that my channel name has to be changed. Trust me, this definitely wasn't an easy choice. My Twitter handle is ProfessorPro4, so that's going to be annoying, and like an idiot, I chose my personal YouTube URL as soon as I got the chance, which to my knowledge cannot be changed, so that will forever be a mark of this old username and confusing to new subscribers. But I think this is for the greater good. So what's my new name going to be? Well, I definitely wanted something similar to the old one, because it means so much to me. I'm not even close to the end of my YouTube journey, but I've made it this far to nearly 3,000 subscribers with Professor Pro. You all know me as Professor Pro. I definitely didn't want to leave that behind completely. I also wanted my new name to represent the type of content I make, so that people can tell what kind of YouTuber I am just by a glance. And most importantly, I wanted to make sure I didn't choose a name that's already been used by a semi-famous member of the Nintendo community. So, after taking that all into consideration, I finally chose my new name, Protendo. Yes, you can all rejoice at the fact that my profile picture won't have PP in it for much longer. There you go, Pie Guy Online. I addressed it. Like I said before, the same name dilemma didn't seem like a problem to me when I was just throwing whatever thoughts I had onto this website, but I consider myself to be an actual content creator now, and I'm excited to continue growing with you guys now that I'll have a more individual identity. I'm not sure when exactly I'll be updating my channel with a new name since it'll require a new profile picture, a new banner, and a bunch of stuff like that, but you can expect it relatively soon. Moving on from that bittersweet update, there is something I want to discuss that's been brought up by a lot of people lately. Animal Crossing New Horizons is coming out in 12 days, and I'm incredibly excited. As you all know, I'm a huge Animal Crossing fan, and this is easily the most excited I've ever been for a Switch title. The thing I want to address here is about Animal Crossing, or rather, a question I've been receiving about Animal Crossing as of lately. Said question being, are you an Animal Crossing YouTuber? Short answer, no. Long answer, I'll go into that now. Animal Crossing is obviously a huge part of my channel. Most of you have come from my Animal Crossing content, since those videos are usually my highest viewed. And like I said before, I'm very passionate about the series. My current avatar is Animal Crossing themed, my banner uses the Animal Crossing font, my intro uses Animal Crossing music, etc. At first glance, it would be logical to assume that I'm an Animal Crossing channel, but I actually don't consider myself as one. When I think of Animal Crossing YouTubers, I think of channels that cover Animal Crossing content almost exclusively. People like Ben from Crossing Channel, Mayor Mori, and Lulu Crossing, who all make amazing content by the way, so check them out. I am not one of those YouTubers. 
I like to talk about all things Nintendo, which is also evident from my new channel name. Yes, my Animal Crossing content output has only increased in the way for New Horizons, but I don't want to get to a point where I feel like it's taking over everything else that I like to do on my channel. For example, last summer I stepped out of my comfort zone and started doing a new almost monthly series, Show Me Your Moves, where I create moveset concepts for Smash Bros. fighters, and it's been some of the most fun I've had on YouTube. As my channel grows, I want to do even more creative things like that, and I plan to add even more diversity to my content in future months. Now don't get me wrong, this isn't me saying, oh I hate Animal Crossing or anything like that, since as you all know I love the series to death and gain heart palpitations the moment I think of how close we are to New Horizons, oh my gosh it's 12 days away, but I want to make sure I don't lose track of why I started this channel. Not just to talk about Animal Crossing, but to talk about Nintendo. And if you're only here for my Animal Crossing content, that's completely fine. Don't worry, it's not going anywhere anytime soon, especially once New Horizons comes out. I don't currently have the equipment to record any form of Let's Play, unfortunately, but if I'm able to get some in a few weeks, you better believe you guys will be able to see me playing this game. The final things I want to discuss are updates about new videos coming to the channel. Since I was just talking about Show Me Your Moves, it feels important to announce this one first. Along with the new character concepts I've been making, I'm also going to start redoing movesets of some characters that are already in Smash. These won't really get in the way of the new character videos, but will instead be used as a form of in-between for regular episodes that are taking particularly long. I have multiple characters planned for this new subgenre of Show Me Your Moves, and the first is Champion Link from Breath of the Wild. His video will be released sometime during March. Now, this last announcement will probably excite more of you. Remember a few minutes ago when I said I don't want to be solely defined by Animal Crossing content? Well, throw that all out the window because BOOM! Animal Crossing Week! As closure to our New Horizons journey, starting next Friday, I'll be releasing a new Animal Crossing themed video every day until the game releases on March 20th. Each video will be different from the last and packed full of Animal Crossing goodness. This is easily the most challenging thing I've ever attempted on my channel, but I'm very excited, and I hope you guys are too. And with that, we end this Professor Pro channel update. Or should I say, Pro-Tendo channel update. Yep, that's gonna take some getting used to. Once again, I want to thank you guys for continuing to support me. Without all of you, I wouldn't have a reason to do this. So, I hope you all have a great day, afternoon, evening, night, I don't know what time you're watching this, but see ya!